Hello friends, happy June. It's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. This week was my birthday and I got this gorgeous card from my friend Lynn. I thought, oh, that's a lovely. I just love the execution of this. Everything's so sharp and straight and, la and layered beautifully with beautiful embellishments and dies. And then I opened it up and said, wow, that's really cool. What a neat addition to the card. So I decided to show you how she made this and I'm going to reverse engineer it into another card I'm making and we're going to do it live. And when I say live, I mean, I cut everything and we're going to make it right now. So here we go. We are going to use the new bundle that's in the Stampin' Up! 2024. 2025 annual catalog. It's called Seaside Wishes and it has one of those hybrid embossing folders. So the embossing folders has this really cool trio of sand dollars and then there are dies that can go in it and cut them and emboss at the same time. So I'm going to show you real quick how we do that. Then we're going to make our card just like this beautiful fun fold that Lynn Marceau made me. Okay, so with these hybrid embossing folders. They are a 3D embossing folder, so they're thicker. So whenever you put them into your stamp and cut and emboss machine, you're not gonna have that shim in there. And you're gonna use one of those gray plates that comes with the stamp and cut and emboss machine, which is 10% off the whole month of June from June 5th to June 30th. Also, all of our bundles that are in the catalog or online exclusives are a 10% discount. That's an addition to the already 10% that is already baked into buying the bundle. So any of those stamp and die bundles will be available June 5th till the 30th at a 10% discount and they'll automatically be put in as that when you put them in your cart. So this embossing folder, I'm gonna show you what we do. So what you do is you put your paper in. Okay, so this is a sample. You would put your paper in, then you take this die. Now this die fits into the top of the embossing folder. So what I mean by that is stamping up is on the front of your embossing folder. And when you open it up, the top is where you see these three sand dollars. Now they are raised on this side. This die goes around the raised area. Now it doesn't clip in that it stays in there always, but you can feel that it that it is intact there. So then you would just very carefully pull this back and close your embossing folder, okay? So there you would now run that through. As I was saying before, I interrupted you with that newsflash of the sale that's going on in the month of June. The gray plate comes with the new stamp and cut and emboss machine, but if you have another die cutting machine like the Big Shot that we used to carry, you would just either flip up your one flap on that multi-purpose platform or take out the shim that was with the other one. Run that through, and when you run it through, what happens is, now imagine this is run through, okay? Now, these three have come out, they have fallen out of there, and what has fallen out is these perfectly embossed and die cut sand dollars. Now, if you didn't have that die in, you'd have a beautiful embossed piece, which I'm gonna show you on the card we're making, but is that so cool or what? You could just keep throwing different colors in there and mix and match all of the pretty colors that are in there. So that is how you use your embossing folder that's a hybrid embossing folder with your dies. And you'll see they have these lovely dies in here too in the Seaside Wishes dies that cut out like coral there and then also those sand dollars. Okay, so now let's get started. I'm going to be using that beautiful paper. Of course, why is it at a, am I a loss at what that paper is called? It is called... I have one right here. <laughs> thoughtful Journey, the Thoughtful Journey paper. Now this Thoughtful Journey paper is a little bit different than our other paper that had the landscape that's on the online exclusives right now. It has more of the summery colors, but it kind of does go into uh, the fall. But to me, they're, the colors are just more spring-like. There is like this um, one here, maybe a winter scene. But the one pattern I thought really kind of spoke of the sea to me 
is this one here. Kind of gives me a beachy look there. This is kind of beachy as well. But the one that I picked, I'm gonna put these back so that I don't wonder where they are next time I need them. So here we go. I decided to use this pattern here. And it just kind of spoke summer to me. Just kind of like the morning, the, like when the sun is just starting to go down or go up in the morning. So we're gonna use this piece and it's a six by six and notice how pretty all the backs of those are too with like a muted watercolor. So on this card here that Lynn has, the card base, as you can see, is five and a half by eight and a half and it's scored at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. So half of it is scored at four and a quarter and then that other half of four and a quarter is two and an eighth. So what I did is I picked out colors that I liked in this paper and I really liked the Misty Moonlight. I thought it was a nice uh, substantial base for my card. I like to kind of play with the colors and I like that. Now on this designer series paper, it's got some really pretty Lost Lagoon, some Pool Party, some Calypso Coral, Petal Pink, some Lemon Lolly Yellow in there. So what I'm gonna show you how I did this is I decided to first cut down my paper because the paper is actually gonna be five inches high. So I wanted to just take a half inch off of each side. So I'm gonna take a half inch off of, now will that take off too much yellow? I kind of like that yellow down there. I think I'll take just an inch, let me see, let's see here. If I take off this, I think I still have the pool party and the blue. Yeah, so I'm going to take off, and, and you would do this with your paper, whatever paper you wanna see which part of the paper, but I'm thinking that I'm still gonna see some of that pretty pool party here and some of the misty moonlight and boho blue there. So I'm just gonna cut this down to five. Okay, we're gonna cut that down to five, save this really pretty piece that'll make a nice addition to a card. And then the next thing I had to pay attention to in my reverse engineering is there is a card that is inside here. And this card is four inches by 10 and a half and scored at five and a quarter. So 10 and a half by four scored at five and a quarter. And all the measurements are underneath the YouTube description along with the links to the store and to my blog. It says visit my blog here, press that link. It takes you right over there and you'll find additional photos. But this one is going to go in a layer from this four and a quarter by five and a half to be four by five and a quarter. So I have to kind of reverse engineer this piece of paper because I want to have this, the two pieces kind of connecting with each other. So after we scored this four and a quarter at two and an eighth and we fold it back, but we're not gonna glue it down because we like the way that it has that, that um, kind of a Z fold there. But before we cut the paper, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that one other layer we need here. And we're gonna need this layer here. And this layer is one and seven eighths, because remember, this is two and an eighth, so we have to take a sixteenth off of each side. So that means we go down to one and seven eighths, and then this is five. So when you look at this, this would be pretty to have on here. So we can either cut, we should probably cut from this way to this way, depending on which color you want to see. We'll still see some yellow, or do you wanna see more yellow here? I like the yellow on this side, so I think that I may just, yeah, I wanna keep this yellow here. So what I'm gonna do is this needs to be on the inside here, three and three quarters. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because you have to kind of think with each different paper you use. So we are going to be cutting three and three quarters and then we want the next section to be one and five eighths. So you wanna do them in order, either go one and five eighths this way and then three and three quarters or three and three quarters and one and five eighths. So technically, if I wanna do it this way, I'm gonna cut it this way. So I'm gonna do three and a quarter and then that, assures me I'm gonna have that pretty yellow there and you'll see why I want that yellow. So three and three quarters. 
And then the next piece that I want to see is one and five eighths. So that is two little tick marks past the one and a half. And that's because our border went to one and seven eighths. And that was the boho blue. So now we are at one and five eighths and I am going to cut that. Okay, save that cutie little piece. Okay, you'll see these two pieces fit together. So let's go back to our card. This is gonna be on here and this piece will go on here. And when they close, they match up nicely. Okay, so let's go ahead and put on this piece here. And when we put this piece on, it'll all start making sense. I just love this fun fold. I mean, what a delight to get such a beautiful card from a dear, dear friend. But then to actually be so inspired that I could show you gave me a wonderful idea of doing that card. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down as we're working right here now. This is boho blue, and once again, it was cut down to four inches wide, and then it was 10 and a half, and then we scored it at five and a quarter. So we have that beautiful opening there. This is going to fold back, and then we have our layer of boho blue that was one and seven eighths by five and a quarter because we're keeping our boho blues at the same and that's why our eyes really that's what makes it a card really pretty is all the symmetry i'm just kind of one of those people that's always i try to be I try to go out of my comfort zone every once in a while and do something abstract, but I just love clean cut corners and, and layers. And then this layer here that's going on here is going to be one and five eighths by five, the same height as our paper there. And you are gonna be really rocking and rolling with a card like this. This would be actually, if you don't have this paper, yet, the thoughtful journey, or if you did get it in a paper share from me. Um, if not, this goes beautifully with any landscape paper you have kind of doing this type of fold. So there we go. Now the next thing I paid attention to was how fun it was that Lynn had this, not only this really neat focal point on the front, but when I looked at a couple of times, I was like, oh, and it covers up something in the inside. So what I did is I took a look at my sentiments here and I just love this, sometimes the simplest things mean the most. And so that is what we are going to put on the inside of our card. And the first thing I did was I just pot, I cut it out with the circle, I stamped it in the Calypso Coral. And then I thought, why did I, why did I punch it out with the circle? I should do it with a, a sand dollar. So I just took this die, I stamped my sentiment, and then I laid this die around it, and it has that same shape as a sand dollar. And actually, it's pretty much the color of the sand dollar, right? So that's going to go in the middle of our card here. And then you'll see that that is going to be covered up with this beautiful focal point. I noticed on Lynn's cards that she just mimicked the dark light and then the DSP, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to adhere it on this side. And I think we might just pop that up with dimensionals. I think that would be great. Give it some layering there. And one more here, okay? And then I'm just gonna pop that up. I'm just gonna center it in the middle of the card so that it's centered from left to right and top to bottom. And like I said, I used the Misty Moonlight, the darker color that you can see in the paper. So just guide yourself with what's in your paper. So this one was a square that measures two and seven eighths on all four sides. So two and seven eighths. So my next layer down, which is the boho blue, would be two and five eighths. go two and five eighths and then I just wanted to put on a really nice bright layer and as you can see on here I just put a two and three eighths 
square through the embossing folder and it picked up all the little speckles of sand and the sand dollars. And then that's gonna be our focal point on the front of the card. And that white really pops against those blues. Now this paper actually has pool party in it, boho, misty moonlight, Lost Lagoon. I didn't manage to get Lost Lagoon in here, but I did like the pool party. So what I'm gonna do now is show you what I did on the inside of the card. The inside of the card, just so I don't lose it, I just stamped the beautiful sand dollar that's in the stamp, the larger one, down in the corner in petal pink. And I thought that was a nice uh, lighter color there. And then I used the Clipso Coral again there. And then I wanted to also put a one of these coral here. And I just put that on with a little bit of glue here. This would be a great time to use your adhesive sheets. And if you are a busy bee, you have some of that. That was one of the products that was put into your busy bee bag one month that we had. And we are going to just cut off that back, just having a little bit of a corner. And this lacy part looks really cool when the petal pink comes through. Okay. And then we'll just put that on the inside of the card. No squiggles all over the inside because that shows up when you go to write. And this one has to go down to be three and three quarters by five, just like the DSP on the outside. So you have that pretty when it's open, you're seeing all those colors go through. Close it, close it. Now we're gonna build up the outside. I decided I wanted to use, whoop, I have a couple um, starfish, and I wanted to use the lemon lolly because I wanted to see that yellow, and the petal pink, and then I thought that this starfish popped off there really nicely. So we're going to just put some glue on our, oh, you know what? Did I do it that way or did I do it this way? Or did I want to put it? No, I wanted to put this way. Here we go. I'm going to put this bigger petal pink. Then I'm going to put the medium sized. Where is it? This is the medium size. Yeah, I'm going to put the medium sized lemon lolly because I want that yellow to come out from the bottom of the card so then I put the lemon lolly sand dollar and then I'm going to pop up well not pop up it's just instantly layering the starfish and we'll put the starfish there now, I'm not finished yet because in the inside corner here, I wanted to build up some more. I put this one down here in the corner and then I just layered. Do I wanna layer? Because this is gonna fit the cover. So, should we put that there? I wish I could talk to you right now. Or maybe we'll just put that there and pop another. I don't know, I think I do like that on there. It's kind of hard sometimes to see which one's the, maybe, maybe there. As long as it's covered, I think we'll be good. Okay, so let's put, hey, we have them cut out. Let's use them. Okay, so we're gonna put that sand dollar there and then our little starfish down here. And the only thing you're paying attention here on this one is that it's covered up with the card. Now, it's a little tiny bit boring right now, so we need to, well, no, not really, but um, we need a little something, something. So I brought out my adhesive-backed rainbow dots, and I loved these that they carried over because 
they have so many great colors in it. And as you notice, they have Petal Pink, Lemon Lolly, and Pool Party. And actually this looks Calypso, but it's actually Flirty Flamingo. So we already have that. So let's just put a little bit of pizzazz with the Pool Party, because you see that Pool Party up in the sky. And let's put a, hmm, we have the lemon lolly, but that kind of still is pretty there. And maybe a petal pink up here, up in the corner there. Okay. Oh, I'm almost thinking I wish I would have popped him up. Maybe he can be popped up. Let me get my minis here and me? No, I already glued him down, so I better just leave well enough alone. Or would he pull up? No, he's, there you go. Okay, so one, two, three, use the colors that are in the paper. Then it's, wow, and you've got some other fun things there. And then you open up and you have that. Ah, oh, I know what I wanted to put on here, kids. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I just had it. It was literally, oh, it's right here. <laughs> I wanted to put these to jazz up this and I'm gonna put it underneath the starfish. Now this is a new ribbon here, the iridescent ribbon we have and look how pretty this is. It just, it just reminded me all the colors pulling out of the paper. That's what we're gonna put underneath our starfish. So I am gonna kind of pull him up and remember where he's at because I'm going to put the ribbon under him and put him back down. There we go. And then pop him down. I don't know, does that look goofy? Let me see. Let me see, I think I just need to layer it a different way. I think I need to roll my ribbon a little bit different. Okay, behave yourself ribbon. Ruben saying, you want me to behave myself, but you're the one with glue all over your fingers. It's like you need something fun to be, let me see, maybe I can just get it down here like this and get it cut on a neat angle like the other one is and then pop him up. Now he can be popped up. So let me get that mini dimensional and pop one in the middle and a couple on the arms. Cause there, there is, now you're seeing that a little bit. So let's just pull it up and layer it on that side, okay? And I think I can fit one. Here. Oh, I just realized I didn't put my my um, other ring on today. So used to seeing it there. Um, okay, and let me see, where's he gonna go? I think we're good with a couple of them. This gives us, okay, they all off. Sometimes you get your, on your card and you're wondering, do I have the dimensional covering off? I do, okay. So here we go. And we'll just put our, I just think it needed a little bit of something other than, but I still don't know if I like that. Maybe I should have popped it out underneath the, I don't know. See, that's what happens when you do something live, right? Let's just put this back the way it was, but he's on dimensionals now. And let's tuck this maybe underneath here. You just need a little bit of that ribbon. It is so pretty. There, that looks nice. And he's all popped up with waving high with his little arms there. Okay, there you go. Okay, we did it. So. Thank you for watching me decide that. I know sometimes doesn't it seem like you go up in your um, area to craft sometimes and you can make one card and it takes you eight hours or some days you can go up there and make five cards in an hour. Normally for me, it's more like it takes me longer, but isn't that a pretty fun fold? It just keeps going, bringing more 
fun to it. Oh, I love that. So I want to thank my friend Lynn Marissa for this beautiful birthday card celebrating my birthday, my little sweet Lynn. And it just inspired me to make this card using our Seaside Wishes. So we um, just used a five and a half by eight and a half, scored it at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. That was our card base. We put an, another card on the inside and it was four inches by 10 and a half, scored it at five and a quarter. And then our DSP, we cut so that either start on this side or this side, but I knew I needed five. So I looked at my paper, decided where I wanted to cut it. And I decided to cut off the top inch of my paper because I liked um, seeing this kind of beachy, rumbling ocean foam down here on the bottom. So then I cut it from three and three quarters and then one and five eighths, but I could have did it this way and that way, but that's just kind of how it worked with my paper. And then it has like a continuous landscape. It's not like if you put them together, they match. So, oh, I'm just so tickled with this. I hope you are. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call me at 724-323-2296. As of making this video, I am two days before having um, some abdominal surgery that is gonna have me resting for a couple weeks. So, um, hopefully all goes well. And, um, but if you need anything, I am definitely available by phone or email to help you out. And don't forget about the big sale, 10% off all stamp die bundles in the online exclusives and the annual catalog, the month of June, starting on June 5th. And this would be one of them. Thanks for buzzing by friends. Oh, don't forget to sign up for the busy bee bag too. It's going to be another good one.